My name is Ammar. Uh, I am an Emirati from Dubai. Uh, I studied architecture at Queen's University in Belfast. I do architecture in the day and then I work on Modu in the evenings. I didn't actually think Modu was going to happen when I first started designing furniture. I wanted to design furniture because I felt like I could solve a problem whenever something was inconvenient or whenever I found something I could fix, I would design for that. And I would just sketch a lot when I was doing my national service. And then I figured, hey, why not make something out of this? And then when I started designing furniture and I started taking a part of all of the fairs, it was very well received, surprisingly. Nowadays, what happens is that we're, we're so used to being on our phones, uh, we're not used to looking at each other, we're not used to like talking to each other, and, and we don't realize how much time we spend around furniture. So as soon as you make something you know, present in your house, more interactive, you start becoming more of a social person, right? So because you have to get up and interact with the furniture, you um, turn that into an activity, and then that activity turns into something else. And then you kind of create more of a personal relationship between you and your furniture. And that's really what I'm trying to do is create that kind of relationship so that when you're in your home, you're a lot more comfortable and you're a lot more, um, you know, relaxed. The whole direction of Modu is, is to create a lifestyle and, and to uh, create social gathering and to make people interact with each other. I started off with my first product, which is uh, Spike. Spike is a coat hanger. Um, and the thing about Spike is that it's super interactive. All of the furniture that I try to make is interactive. I get my inspiration from travel. I go and uh, I visit a lot of museums. I look at art, I look at design, I look at all of this stuff. And the era that actually inspires me the most for furniture is the 1950s but I really like the whole vibe of the 70s, you know, and, and it carries over into part of the 90s, which is really nice, you know, which is when I was born. And then, um, and I remember seeing all of these things. A lot of things I, I, I try to recreate are very nostalgic. Like, for example, when they walk into my space, they instantly feel like, you know, they're walking into a home. That's really what I'm trying to do. I don't want to provide kind of like a sterile experience for people, right? I want them to feel like this brand wants to get personal with them. They want them to come into the home, sit down, relax, be immersed into this whole experience of what Modu really is. You know, I want them to come into my space and I want us to have a conversation. I don't want to sell you a product. I want you to have an experience. I started the brand here is because, number one, I love my family, you know, so I love being around my family. And I uh, think for me also, because I'm from here, it's a lot more convenient, you know. I know uh, a lot of people that I can build stuff with, I can do this project with or that project with. And um, it's, it's a comfortable space uh, because I'm not only surrounded by my family, but also the friends that I've had through the years. So we're very, you know, lucky to have a community that, that wants to be a part of the vision, you know? And I think once they come into our space, they, they want to get involved even more, you know? They, they start having all of these, like, th this influx of ideas that are just going through their head and they just want to blurt it out, which I think is beautiful also. So the community received Modu very well. And I think that's because and I think Modu is, is helping push the community in, a, in the direction that it should be going because the community is so supportive. So we're really where we are because of all of the support and love that we're getting from everybody.